Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS part A exam. And this topic is included in physiology part. This is our question. Which of the following inhibits the secretion of insulin? We know that the insulin is important hormone produced in our body and it acts on the different uh, nutrients in our body such as the carbohydrate protein and fat uh, we have to find out the inhibitors of the insulin that means uh, the substances or hormone or the chemical substances which uh, causes uh, inhibition of insulin release so we have to find out inhibitors of the insulin here are the options options are the adrenaline lipids gastrin arginine and vagal cholinergic activity so we have to find out one of the option which is the inhibitor of the insulin so first of all let's see the insulin in this picture we can see this is the insulin and this insulin is released from this pancreas due to responses from the gut due to different food materials in the gut so the insulin is released from the pancreas and enters into the blood and it causes different action on the different food materials so first of all here we can see in the brain tissue it increases the glucose uptake and increase the metabolic substrates and second option here we can see in the liver it causes decreased glucose output and it also increase the glucose uptake by the liver and for uh, formation of the glycogen and storage of the glycogen then here we can see in the muscle also the glucose uptake increases and the glucose converted into the glycogen and stored in the liver also in the fat cell here we can see here the lipogenesis occur and lipid lysis decrease so any food material in the blood that will be immediately removed by the insulin so the first action of the insulin is to remove all the food material that means carbohydrate protein and fat from the blood to the different organ or different tissue and the utilization of the different food material that means carbohydrate protein and fat uh, initially um, it is known to us that uh, we think about we thought only the glucose insulin acts on only on the glucose but now it is clear that the insulin it acts on carbohydrate it acts on protein and it also acts on the fat and it immediately remove all the food materials from the blood to the different organ so here this is the function of the insulin in very short or in the summary form first of all glucose utilization glucose utilization uh, utilization that means glucose used by the different cell of the body after uh, increased blood glucose level then different parts different cell in different part of the body they increase the use of the glucose so first of all glucose utilization is increased by the insulin then second one glycogen synthesis it is not possible to utilize all the glucose at a time for this reason insulin uh, glucose is stored by the glycogen form in the liver and also in the adipose uh, also in the muscle tissue then inhibits lipolysis that means the insulin it increases the lipid deposition and at the same time it decreases the lipid breakdown then reduce muscle protein loss because the insulin it uh, increases the absorption of the protein by the muscle and also it reduce protein loss by the muscle so insulin it acts on carbohydrate acts on protein acts on fat and remove from the blood these substances and it is stored in the different part of the body or utilized by the different part of the body and then here we can see this is the inhibitor of the insulin release so the insulin release it is inhibited by alpha adrenergic drug then beta blocker and sympathetic nerve sympathetic nerve from the sympathetic nerve adrenaline noradrenaline is uh, released and this is uh, a sympathetic nerve ending release chemical substances during the fight and flight response so during fight during flight there is no time to store of the food the, that time there is time for utilization of the food and making more and more energy for fight and flight so this during the sympathetic nerve 
release neurotransmitter or chemical substances it causes insulin secretion because that time there is more need of the glucose in the blood but insulin it decreases blood blood glucose level so for increasing the blood glucose level and increasing uh, the use of the glucose and other food material for the muscles and other parts uh, this during the sympathetic nerve release this insulin release is inhibited here we can see the two side first of all stimulator of the insulin secretion so when food material increases in the blood the insulin causes reduction of the food materials so first of all here we can see the stimulation of the insulin secretion that means the when insulin release because of the stimulants that means when the carbohydrate protein and fat they are increased in the blood they wants to go to the different part of the body and uh, uh, reaction in the blood so insulin secretion occurs first of all blood glucose so when serum glucose increases insulin secretion increase when serum amino acid that means protein increases also insulin secretion increases when free fatty, fatty acid and ketone body increases then insulin secretion increases so from this food material it is now clear that the when food material in uh, available in the blood that means the end product of the food material is available in the blood then insulin secretion occurs Be because the ins food materials have to be removed from the blood as early as possible then other some other hormone which causes insulin secretion such as gip that means gastro inhibitory peptide glucagon gastrin cholecystokinin secretin vasoactive intestinal peptide and epinephrine but epinephrine only for beta receptor not other receptor then we can see the inhibitors of the insulin secretion that means we need more food materials or end product of the food materials in the blood so first of all when blood glucose level reduce then we have to increase the blood glucose level and that time insulin should be reduced then decrease amino acid decrease fatty acid fasting that means when food materials is less in the blood then insulin secretion increases and other hormones such as the somatostatin somatostatin is known as the globally inhibitory hormone that means all the functions of the somatostatin is the reduction and this somatostatin is known as the globally inhibitory hormone then epinephrine epinephrine nor epinephrine epinephrine non epinephrine and other uh, hormone which is released during the sympathetic activation that time also insulin secretion reduce then leptin so now from this slide two points is very important when food materials when food materials or in product of the food materials such as the carbohydrate and protein and fat when it increases it causes more insulin secretion and when this food material is reduced then the insulin secretion also reduce so only the uh, this two option is enough to memorize all the stimulatory and inhibitory factors of the insulin secretion when food materials increase in the blood then insulin secretion increase and when in product of food materials is less in the blood then insulin secretion is reduced this is uh, the insulin action on carbohydrate metabolism here we can see in the liver muscle and adipose tissue here it is stimulated like stimulate glycolysis uh, actually it is inhibitors of the glycolysis uh, sorry it is stimulated glycolysis that means the utilization of the glucose in the glycolysis pathway so it is true then promote glucose storage as glycogen it also true and it inhibits the glucose breakdown that means the glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis and also muscle it stimulates the glut 4 receptor so here glut 4 activation by the insulin which causes more and more glucose entry into the muscle and it also promotes the glycogen synthesis in the liver and in the adipose tissue it stimulates glucose transport in the adipose side and storage as a triacylglycerol and fatty acid and this insulin also acts on the protein and fat also and 
the storage of the protein and fat so our final option is now ready the inhibitors of the insulin here this is the adrenaline other option such as the lipid lipid is food material so it increase the uh, insulin secretion hormones gastrin arginine it also increase the insulin uh, secretion and vagal cholinergic activity it also increase insulin secretion we know the vagal cholinergic cholinergic substances they are parasympathetic nerve ending present and they are the symbol of the parasympathetic nervous system and this parasympathetic nervous system it causes digestion of the food material and digestion and metabolism of the food material it is done by the insulin thank you all